So this is um, turning out to be really fun. Micro stripes of all of my little balls of DK and worsted weight leftovers. Called it like a scrapbook uh, or souvenir sweater because I can look at all the previous projects, little odds and ends, and uh, it's been really fun. This project had me thinking about my journey into sweater knitting. Um, so I kind of wanted to tell you that story and then how that leads me to um, some suggestions for knitting when you're on a budget, um, especially garments or larger projects. This black yarn is a discontinued patterns superwash. Um, I've had a bunch of it in my stash and that's because um, my mom's friend was giving it away when she was, I think, transitioning from doing um, sweater machine knitting. She wasn't doing that so much anymore. So she had these huge bags of a few different colors. Actually, this is that same color, um, yarn. And I, all of a sudden, a few years ago, happened across these large sweater quantities of a few yarns. Before that, I had mainly made um, accessories, smaller projects. I had started learning and getting into the world of woolly wools and small batches, farms, um, hand dyed, uh, the kind of yarns that are really special and make the knitting experience really fun, um, but also tend to cost more. And so when I would buy these special yarns, I was buying one skein at a time. I couldn't bring myself to spend any more than that at a time. I didn't think I was a talented enough knitter to do any justice to a sweater quantity of such a nice yarn. Um, and it just wasn't, um, yeah, something that was really in the cards for me where I was at at the time. Um, and I was still loving knitting, but once I got this sweater, a couple sweater quantities, um, given to me, I, I felt like I finally had the, um, the means to jump into knitting a sweater. And it's since I got a sweater on the needles and finished one that my knitting just like hasn't stopped since. I don't know if that, um, has happened to you. If you have a similar knitting journey where once you got to knitting a certain type of project, it was like, um, just this whole new world of, um, I don't know, possibilities and knitting energy. And since then I've just always had to have something on my needles. Um, yeah, the, the sweaters did that for me. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to think of, um, suggestions I have for those of you who might be in a similar situation where you have a taste for yarn that maybe, um, kind of goes beyond what your budget is able to handle these days. And if you don't have a sweater quantity of a nice yarn land in your lap, um, how could you kind of recreate that, especially as you're shopping at the Woolly Thistle? Because um, if you're shopping with us, you probably have already started drinking that Kool-Aid of um, loving the, the high quality uh, woolly wools, heirloom quality, the kind of yarn that is so worth knitting with um, in a lot of ways because it's going to last. Um, it's there's there's nothing wrong either with um, knitting from yarns from big box stores or keeping it to a budget. Um, but I'm speaking most specifically to the people who do want to get the the farm yarns, the small batch um, kind of yarns that we carry uh, in more of their projects. So a couple of suggestions I have are um, looking at some of the yarns in our shop that are um, on the more budget friendly side and then how to um, choose projects that are going to be um, more budget friendly because of the way that they're made, the amount of yarn that they require and so on. So a few ideas I have for you. First of all is to um, go to some of the yarns in our in our website that are um, on the more budget friendly side and when i think of those um, there's a few that come to mind one is let lopi the way i kind of figure this sometimes it's hard to compare yarns because they come in different quantities different size uh, skeins um, what i like to do if i'm thinking budget <laughs> budget consciously 
is I look at the price and then I divide the dollars by the amount of grams in this gain. Um, so for example, let low be is 575 a skein for a 50 gram skein. So 575 divided by 50, um, that equals out about 11 cents per gram. And then from there, you can compare yarns more easily and find which ones are the more expensive and which ones are the, um, the more budget friendly yarns um, as far as like the amount of yarn that you'll get for your money. Um, Another one that's pretty budget friendly is All Centrum, either the sport weight or the worsted weight. Those are 12 cents a gram. Uh, Mondim is a fingering weight from Retrosaria. That one's 12, uh, sorry, 15 cents a gram. Mungo, their um, worsted weight wool cotton yarn. That one is 12 cents a gram. Plodulopi is another uh, lopi yarn. That's only 10 cents a gram. It's the unspun. Um, and also can work up at a really loose gauge. That is another thing that's going to make your yarn go further is the looser you can knit a yarn, um, the bigger piece of fabric you're going to make basically. So um, the vanilla sweater is an example of a yarn um, and a project that um, your, your yarn goes a lot further than you might think because it's such a loose gauge um, that Rama Fennel Garn will um, get you a larger project with less skeins than you would maybe think for a sweater otherwise. The um, A few other projects and kits that we have in the shop that would be um, quite budget friendly are um, something like the Felix sweater that's knit in Let Lopi, which is already a budget friendly yarn and knit at a loose gauge. So for the largest size Felix kit, you're looking at $63 for the entire kit. Um, that seems like a really great uh, price point for um, a woolly wool sweater that's going to last to be durable um, and be really fun to knit. The Althita is another. That one is knit in Plodilopi, again another budget-friendly yarn, and um, the largest size for that one is $69 for the kit and has a few different color options. That one's always um, a fun one to knit. Another um, Suggestion that I have for you when you're shopping our website yarns is um, considering something like the JNS cones. Those are um, more yardage for your money than buying small individual skeins. And then uh, while we're talking about JNS, also keep an eye out for when we do the grab bags. That's usually around Thanksgiving, but you'll get more skeins at a discount um, when you get kind of a random assortment of um, the JNS two ply jumper weight skeins. Um, and then just a couple other suggestions I have, um, when you're trying to make a garment, maybe step your toe into the garment knitting world, but also want to do so, um, in a budget conscious way while still knitting with the yarns that are going to make the, the whole process really fun and enjoyable, um, is to think about the summer knitting, um, the like the um, argyle tee or the tank top that I'm gonna knit is only gonna take these three skeins um, at eight ninety five a skein. I'm gonna get this whole garment for like twenty seven dollars. Um, so think about um, doing some short sleeve things, some cropped things. Um, this feels a little counterintuitive to me, but fingering weight projects are actually going to bring your yardage further um, than something like a worsted weight project. So look at those lighter weight lighter weight projects. Um, you can search patterns on Ravelry for fingering weight wool cotton blends um, at a specific gauge even. This yarn I think suggests about a 20, what is it? 26 stitches per um, four inches. You can sort by gauge. Um, to kind of help narrow down your um, pattern options out there. But um, starting with a summer project, it'll still be all of the steps to creating a full sweater, but you don't have to do the sleeves. <laughs> and it's, um, at least if you're, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're at the time of year where um, it'll be fun to get something summery on the needles. Uh, so I, I hope that helps give you some ideas of um, kind of jumping off points for uh, diving into sweater knitting while still um, kind of keeping your yarn purchasing um, budget um, 
at the front of your mind. And um, feel free to let us know in the comments. I'm sure I missed some tips out there um, and that many of you would have other ideas or suggested patterns or um, yarns that we carry that um, would would be really great for um, the, the garments and also like larger shawls when you're looking at buying larger quantities of bar yarns. I, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for having me this week and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.